Hey you guys, this is take two on this video. First time I made it, somebody called in the middle of it and I lost the whole video. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. Should have been able to pause, but I didn't. So anyways, hey, welcome to Wait A Minute. It is Tuesday, October 20, I, th I think. And um, yeah, this uh, welcome to Wait A Minute. It is my videos, my stuff and I share it with all of you. So, I something happened today and I, I needed to share on top of what happened, okay? Something happened that, that triggered this and uh, if you think this is about you, person who's watching this video, it might have been triggered by you but it's not necessarily about you. So don't, don't take offense. Maybe learn something but don't take offense. Um, when people need help, they need to ask. Because help can be found when people ask. There's a great quote, in, you know, that uh, Dumbledore on Harry Potter said that. Um, I mean, obviously, I didn't say it exactly right, but um, it's true, though. I mean, you gotta ask, and by ask, I don't just mean say the words. I mean, you gotta be willing to let somebody try to help you. If you ask, then you have to ask and accept. And you know, other, you, you don't have the right to pick and choose if the person, you, you say, I don't know what to do, person, can you help me? And the person says, yeah, I can help you. Um, let's, let's work on this. And then the person comes up with every excuse in the book not to. Those are really frustrating because you really want to help that person. But the other side of that coin, so, I mean, before I say that, the people who who are in need, you know, be strong enough and be man or woman enough to know that you need help and accept it. You know, if you if you ask for help, then accept it. You're not in a place to pick and choose. I'm not saying you should be let somebody walk all over you or anything like that, but if you trust the person, you ask them to help you, then let them help you. Don't say, well, I don't want to accept help if you do it this way. But that's, that's not the way it works, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, let's go on. The fact that somebody doesn't talk to you for months and then they call you for help, um, you know, on the one hand, you want the people to, to trust you and know that they can come to you for help. That's fine. But the part about not talking to you for months and then calling you for help, that's a little, that's a little hurtful. But still fine because you want them to call you if they're in trouble. Um, but it's, it's like this thing, another friend of mine and I were driving in the car and we were talking and um, we were talking about people, about how you, um, you're driving along in your car you know, I was, we were driving in the car and I, I said, you know, like, I got a spare tire in the trunk right now. I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about it. Um, and the only time I will open the trunk to, to do anything with that spare tire is when I'm in trouble. You know what I'm saying? It's completely ignored until I'm in trouble. I don't know. You know, that's what people are like. They completely ignore you and you're just their spare tire. But when they're in trouble, you're the one they call. Um, you know, like in my case, I'm in ministry and I'll try to do anything I can do to help somebody. But um, that opens you up to get used a lot and, and abused a lot. Um, a lot of those people aren't trying to use you, but they are abusing you. And some of them don't realize it and they can't help it. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to slam people. I'm just saying, you're their spare, spare tire. Um, and then it started making me think about God. How in so many ways, in so many people's lives, God is the spare tire. You don't see him, you don't talk to him, you don't have anything to do with him, but as soon as you have a flat tire, he's the first one you call him. You know? Um, and I hope you're getting this, okay? Um, it's like he's that spiritual sugar daddy in the sky that will help you out of whatever you're in, you know? Um, and it's supposed to be relationship, you know, father, son, father, daughter, whatever, um, friend, savior. 
it should be all of those things, not a spare tire waiting to, to help you get home when you're strayed, you know. Um, he does do that as well, but not in the spare tire sort of way where you don't, you know, in the spare tire sort of way he has you, he's got your back, but in the other spare tire sort of way where you just ignore it until you need it, that's, that doesn't, there's more to being a Christian, there's more to life than that. Um, but if you're a Christian or not, you know, you got, you're in your car, you're driving, some people drive down roads that they should never be on, they're too rocky, they're too, you know, got potholes everywhere, they're, um, the roads that they know they should not go down, the roads that they know, you know, either by, by their conscience or by what people have warned them against, those kind of things, they know they shouldn't be going down those roads, those, those paths that they're driving down that their car just, they're going to bust a tire. They know there's a possibility of busting a tire and they don't care until it happens. But when they bust a tire, there is a spare tire in the trunk and they will open the trunk and take that spare tire out. Um, if I'm driving down the road and I have a flat, I'm going to get my spare tire out and fix my tire. Well, actually, I probably wouldn't. I would, I'd probably call road service and have them do it. But hey, um, in general and in a, you know, perfect world where you know I'm I'm healthy and I can do what I want um, I go back there and get my spare tire because I had an issue um, but people go down that rocky road you know you're gonna at some point bust a tire and when you do then you pull out the spare tire then then when you're in trouble that's when you you call for help um, you know, maybe not going down that rocky road in the first place. Maybe not abusing your tires in the first place. Maybe not having God be your spare tire, but having Him be your Savior, your Father, who you have constant relationship with. Maybe have that. Maybe, you know, be more attentive to that spare tire in your life, whether it's God or the people that are in your life. Um, more important is God, of course, but it goes with the way you treat people too. If you're, if you have, if you have people in your life that are spare tires to you, and you don't have anything to do with them except for when you need them, check yourself because you're wrong. This is not, this is not a right. It's not right. Um, if you have, um, you know, put God as your spare tire, check yourself. And and it's not just people who are not Christians. People who are Christians do the same thing. And it's just stupid. It's wrong. You get um, these people. Are, you know, all people. I mean, it, it has happened to me before too. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm innocent totally, um, but I try. That people, Christians, even maybe more often than people who are not Christians, but and it's probably worse for Christians to do it because we should know better. We put God as our spare tire, and. The only time he ever hears from us is when we need something. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know how God is. I don't know all about his, his heart and the way he feels about things. But I can just imagine that it, it must hurt his heart somehow to, to know that the, the people that he loves, the people that he made and, you know, adopted as children basically and, and loves us and cares for us, um, how much must that hurt? that we take him for granted so bad that we don't even, you know, it's like a, like a parent, you know, you raise your kids, you, you do your best, you, you, you always, you know, try to be there and you're, you know, may not, may, have, may not have done anything but messed up, but you tried really hard and you were always there for your kids and then they grow up, they go away and they never talk to you unless they need something. That's kind of the way it, it probably feels, is what my guess is. But, um, the main thing is, guys, it's it's not it's not in your best interest even. Um, yeah, you know if you got a, a supportive and and always there kind of spare tire, um, yeah it'll work. But you want to really have a life and really have it more abundant than you know. Let's check yourself. Let's let's stop the spare tire business. Okay, thanks.